Hey guys, welcome to the latest lecture of Strat Pro classes. Until now, what we have done is analyzed the full structure, given its load, analyzed the beam, had a RC detailing of the beam, the columns, and everything. Now it's time to move further and let's move on to some advanced part of the Strat Pro. Now we already know that this tool, this particular tool, gives us the 3D view. So let's view the 3D. So the slab has been added and in the 3D view you can observe that if you close in on the 3D view, you can see there are certain offsets here. Actually, why do we see this? These offsets are there, particular offsets are there. Why do we see that? It is because here we have done a line diagram. And the line diagram uh, gives us the center line of our whole structure. But actually, our whole structure doesn't connect to the center line to the center line. At times, the center lines do not connect. So, that is why we get a structure like this, where in the 3D view, the beams are actually projected out from the slab. And you can see, uh, if you close in on that, on this corner, you can see here what is there is the column and beam they have their faces open and due to this you know the when the load transfer from the beam to the column takes place there is certain anomaly in this one so we will get less stiffness and maybe our design will be more conservative in this way so what we will do uh, let me bring in an another sketch of that the thing actually becomes like this you can see this is this red one is the uh, beam element and green one is the column element so what happens is that the load transfer takes place only to this because that is only what is the connected portion because we have done it on the center line just see over the center line the two center lines are meeting at this point the beam has been constructed about that one and the column has also been constructed about that one uh, the center lines so we have faces open this space is open where in actual case the load transfer will take place but uh, because of our modeling the way in which we have done this load transfer will not take place properly so there is a tool instead which allows us uh, to uh, remove this anomaly so for this what we need to do is go to general then go to specifications in specifications uh, we will go for the beam and then there is an option called offset. This offset will will move, will shift the beams in the direction that we want. Say we create an offset at the start of the beam. So there, there is another aspect. First, just see. Uh, let's click on a beam. So this we have a start. Every beam has a start. And we have an end. Right. So when we give an offset it will start it will uh, start its thing from the uh, from the beginning and end it at the end so let me demonstrate that one that will be easier for you to understand actually say so select the all over beams first the whole roof beams have been selected so let's go to beam let's define an offset so the offset we saw was raised in the y direction so at the start let us give it as minus 0.2 because the size of the beam that we have given is 400 add so now let's assign assign to the selected beams assign yes so what you see is actually uh, let's go to the front view what we see is then just see we had a single beam this is the start point this is the end point you see the offset has been created at the start point because we have done it uh, we have we have given it at the start so how has it affected our structure let's see so if you have a 3d modeling of that you can see the start thing has gone down the starts have gone down they have actually flushed up with the column because we have adjusted their depth but the end part has gone up because we haven't adjusted that so just see the this from the start the beams and the slab have flushed but at the end because we haven't changed anything so uh, the thing is already in the offset 
so let's define again let's close it down uh, beam again offset we'll keep it at the end also we'll have minus 0.2 add and again we will select all the top beams assign to the selected beams assign yes now let us see what has happened if we go to the 3d view just see everything has flushed you can see the whole slab at the top of the beams and here you can see both the beams and the columns have all flushed everything has flushed now you can change similarly if you want to uh, change the offset of this column you need to just give an offset at the start by what depth you need to shift this we did by two because we knew that uh, the depth of our beam is uh, 400 so that is why I shifted it by 400 and everything came out like this so this is actually a very essential feature this will uh, because this is simple building maybe you will not find much difference in the um, analysis result but uh, in actual practice if we have a dense building if we have some very difficult load cases then you will surely find that this is a more realistic approach than the approach that we did earlier though one can say that the earlier approach was a little bit conservative but the earlier approach had this uh, anomaly this problem that the earlier approach had but this approach reduces this and we can actually see what happens is that we have uh, done we, we have brought down this one so actually what we have is that uh, this thing this thing comes up to this this thing also comes up and the things flush so now this is the real picture that we always get in our structures the effective stiffness that will increase and the moment will be much higher now uh, though the moment transfer will be easier now earlier cases maybe a particular depth of our column fails or a particular depth of our beam fails but now this will be a more realistic approach so hope uh, you like this video and uh, see you in the next lecture